by Granton. It's nice knowing you. Hello, KTL. Back sailing you. That's fine. Got the bike down below. Uh, not got the big main up. Could do today easily, but I'm just gonna. I've got loads of time. So I will just sail around a bit. I love the shape, just made for the boat, just what I wanted. Nice long foot, so a real triangle of a sail. The drive down low, just the baggy wind catcher. But you'd be amazed what you can do with a baggy wind catcher. I have no real idea as to why dolphins bring such joy with them. Another sentient being this far from shore, perhaps. They also look us in the eye. They seem to know what we are, and yet they still occasionally seek our company. Dolphins at sea and robins ashore are the only wild animals that choose to come so close to the stink of man. The waves here are great. Uh, this is a northerly, so I went out to the end of the fur of four, and the waves just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Smooth, but big. And now they're kind of coming around the corner, and about, I don't know, every 20 minutes you get a real bunna coming around the corner, a big one. A big slapper of a wave comes in. It's great to be back sailing Katie. She handles waves with grace and ease. Standing here in the hatchway, chest deep in my own boat, it sometimes feels as though I'm wearing her rather than sailing her. She will hold her course for hours on end with nothing more than a bungee around the tiller and the occasional adjustment to the centre plate angle. The canoe's stern seems to help with quartering waves and the deep rudder hung right at the far end of the boat keeps her running straight and true. The centre plate with twin stub keels keep her running on rails. They also like the engine well which, despite being noisy and gurgly, keeps the prop in the right place and allows the cockpit to drain in a trice. I'm confident that whatever the weather throws at us, Katie can cope with it. And all this in a boat that can sail in 13 inches of water. Some mean-spirited people have suggested that I should sell my lovely Katie, but with any luck she'll be the last boat I ever own, as she is perfect for my native East Anglian shallow sailing. Even though I am getting a bit long in the tooth for a day boat with a cabin with no more than full crouching headroom. Coffee. And some of this miraculous cake. It cost $27 to send it. <laughs> and the bloke who sent it is the chief of police. Monica. 
and it's just solid. It's really, when you eat it, it warms you up. I don't know why. It's just chock full of stuff. It's like Sailor's Kindle Mint Cake. Really, really good. It's vacuum packed. It looked like explosives, I have to say, and wrapped in tin foil. How they could ever let it on an aeroplane, I have no idea. A thing to be said in favour of centre plates when it comes to having a boat that self steers. This boat has got so many points of balance, it's wonderful. Another nice little village, St. Monans. Obviously, take God pretty seriously. Church there church there. We headed for the north shore of the Firth, the bungee steering all the way to St Monans. I then tacked up the coast, aiming for Anstruther, which is a truly delightful little town and also boasts the cheapest marina in the UK. It had been a bit cloudy for the latter part of the day, but then the sun broke through 
that miraculous Scottish light did its thing and the sea turned to sparkling gold just as the sun was going down. Marvellous. <laughs>